guys, it's Kim. I'm here with another stability ball workout. So many things we can do, the, do with the stability ball. Today it's gonna be lower body and abs with stability, uh, stability ball. You could use, in some situations, a small weight if you wanted to on some of the exercises that we're gonna do. You could add that to make it a little more intense if you need to. Um, it's just an option. But if you have a stability ball, I've got a beach towel because can't find my mat, um, but nice and comfortable, flat space, stability ball. Try to, we're gonna listen to the sounds of the birds today and the sounds of just nature and try to breathe and find our space. Wherever you are, it's the best thing we can do right now. Find that space. Okay, so we're gonna warm up with the ball. So some of the plank work that we're gonna do, you might need to modify. Um, or if you don't have a ball and you want to do some of these things, they're perfectly fine to do on the ground. So we're going to start in a plank position. So modified plank, you want to roll out, staying on your knees and holding this plank. Regular plank, also make sure your shoulders are under or over top of your elbows. So I like to tripod my arms here. I'm going to go up onto my toes and hold this, and hold this plank, breathe. One good way, one thing you could do, a little trick I used to do, say the alphabet forward and then backward. Not easy, sounds easy, but it's not. I just do it in my head. <laughs> Breathe, this is a great way to warm up. I'm getting all the stabilizers. Waking up. Breathe. So drop onto your knees, take your arms long, slide the ball out, sit back on your heels. So it's kind of like a child's pose from here, but using the ball. Nice, ooh, three, two, one. So next off, we're gonna do some push-ups on the ball. So we're gonna roll out. We're gonna do a push-up and then a roll in. So you wanna find space. I'm gonna make sure that I'm still in the shot. So I'm gonna move back a little bit. So you're gonna roll out on your ball so that your hands are on the floor. Yes, we're gonna do a push up. Then you're gonna pull your knees in, round up, and then drop back out. Nine and up. The further you roll out, eight, the harder this is gonna be. And so make it harder or easier if you need to. Seven and up. Six and up. Good. Five. Good. Four. And in. Three. And in. Good. Two more. Exhale as you push up. Good. Round. Fill that. Look. Release your back too. One. And up. <laughs> Good. Walk back nice and slow. Wee. <laughs> nice and slow. Okay. So, now from here, <clears throat> we're gonna do some lower body stuff. So, first the thing we're gonna do is a reverse plank. So in this position, oh, also we should talk about the shirt of the day, stay calm. This is me trying to stay calm and breathe and take in. So sometimes you need to like take all the variables out, find a space where you can try to find and stay calm and breathe and all the good things okay so that's behind the scenes legs are gonna go on top of the ball so we're lying down you want to the more ball you have under your leg the easier this is gonna be so you want to get in or you want to roll out we're gonna push your shoulders into the floor lift your hips up hold this reverse plank so we're up nice and tall high breathe shoulders open Exhale, inhale through your nose, nose, exhale. So that is how you can slow your heart rate and breathe is in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, breathe, three, two, drop your booty, pull your knees in, say thank you to your back and your glutes and hamstrings that just worked to make that happen. We're gonna go back out into that bridge again, or reverse plank, excuse me, and then do alternating leg lifts. So from here, 
we're up, hold nice and strong. We lift one and two, good. Three, I'm gonna get a little more ball here. Four, five, the sky is so pretty, I wish you could see it. Six, seven, nice, feel those hamstrings. Eight, it's a great stretch as well. Nine and 10, good. Drop your hips, roll in again, say thank you to your back. We're gonna take one, we're gonna take a leg up, stretch the back of that leg. Keep it nice and long here. Switch legs up, nice and long. This hamstrings do a lot on that, on that piece there too. Good, okay, so now we're gonna come up to seated position. We're gonna take the ball in between our knees. Yes, we're gonna squeeze the ball like so. Yes, 10 times, and then we're gonna lift 10 times. So again, this is something that you have seen me do before, but changing variables, changing positions, changes the exercise. Ready, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift, 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more set, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, you feel it here in the thighs. So we're gonna take our legs up nice and wide to help stretch those out, take the ball out and roll. I'm gonna do a lot of stretches throughout the workout show you how you can stretch in between each one. So inner thighs really tight. We're gonna open your legs up, stretch that out. Extend nice and long. Let your shoulders release. Good. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Good. So next off, we're gonna do hamstring roll-ins. <clears throat> so from here, the ball's gonna be we're gonna be long legs on the ball like we were when we were lying down. Roll in, do a hip lift, and then release. I'm gonna show you two different variations on that. So on top, <clears throat> you're gonna to roll in, lift up, drop down, push back, or hold the reverse plank and pull in and out. Okay, I'm gonna do the first version for 10. One, up, down, and out. Two, up, down, and again. Three, up, down, good. Four, up, good. Five, and lift. Six, and up, good. Seven, and up. Eight, good. Nine, and lift. Two more. <clears throat> Two, last one in and up and down and out, nice, good. So next off, we're gonna take the ball between your legs, so it's gonna go here. So it's closer around your ankles and your calves, your hands are gonna go behind your back. We're gonna go do reverse crunch, tuck and lift. So from here, we're gonna, with long legs, so we're gonna tuck, reverse crunch, tuck, lift, up and down for 10, 10. Exhale up, nine, eight, good, seven, Six, five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Good, so next off, we're gonna do crunches with this. So you wanna drop your legs as low as you can. You're gonna pull your knees in, extend out. The more parallel you get to the floor, the harder it is. The more you go to the sky, the less intense it is, especially for your back. Remember this ball adds a big variable. Ready, so we go in, 10, Nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. So we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna take opposite hand, opposite shoe from here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, 
Next off, leg drops. So again, balls in the same position, long legs, hands behind your back to protect your back. This can be done without the ball as well. Then we're gonna drop the legs down and 10. Drop, exhale up, nine, eight, good. This is seven and six, five, four. We've got one more exercise in this position, three, and then we'll get to change two. I know you feel your inner thighs. Last one. So the next exercise is called corkscrews. So we're gonna take and we're gonna lead with the right leg and then lead with the left as you twist to do the reverse crunch with leg pikes, okay? So you're here, we go up right, twist, left, eight, seven with the twist, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, ball in hand. Whew. So that was a lot of inner thighs, a lot of abs. So we're gonna do the stretch with the abs this time. So the legs are gonna go nice and long wide. The arms are long with the ball overhead, or you start here. This is gonna be more intense. This helps you use your arms. So we come all the way up, thread the ball between your legs. So we go up and we thread nice and long. So that's 10 and nine, reach. Eight, oh, feels good. Seven, step, I'm sliding down the, <laughs> sliding down the beach towel. Reach, don't forget that reach. That's a great stretch for your hamstrings and your thighs. This is a lot for your abs too. Two more. Exhale up. One more. And up. Very good. Whew. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna do some out of thigh and some hip work. Um, and so we're gonna add some variables to these. Okay. So we're gonna be over on the side. So knee into your hip. So we're here. Top leg top arm we're going to come here or you're going to drop down nice and low and get up even higher ready you can put your hand on the floor if you if you can put your hand on the floor ten nine or need to i should say eight seven six nice and long five four three two and one good so from here we're gonna add those rotations with the crunch. I know we've done them before, but these are really good. It gets a nice spot. It says that bleak's really good. Nine, eight, I'm sliding on my towel. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, so now we're gonna drape over the ball, reach nice and long, stretch, 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 and breathe. Nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. So now we're going to switch. So we're going to come up, change sides. Remember long arm, long leg. If you need to shorten your lever, you can. When you shorten your lever, it's going to make it a little bit less stress on the obliques. So if you feel it in your back or it's too much, just shorten your lever. So from here or here, we go long and 10. Whoops. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So drop down. We're going to rotate around. Do those crunches. Try not to slip. <laughs> we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. So we're gonna drape over, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, and take that arm and reach over, create space. You should feel a stretch all the way into your hip flexors as well. So really enjoy all of that that the stability ball is providing for us right now. Three, two, one, good. Okay, so next off, 
we're gonna do some lower back and some glutes. So we're gonna walk out on the ball face down. This time you wanna walk out enough to where, I'm gonna slide back just a little bit more, to where your hands are on the floor and your hips are in the ball, your toes are on the floor. So your weight is not in your hands, it's not in your feet, okay? It's in the center of the ball where your hips are. So move around to where you're able to lift both legs at the same time for reverse hyperextensions. It also works your glutes too, okay? Lower back and glutes. Ready for 10. 10, nine, good, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drape over the ball for a second. Release your lower back. Feel the muscles that you just used. They should be telling you, yes, I'm still here, I'm working. We're gonna go back to that position. We're gonna do swimmy legs or swimmy, I call them fishies. So your feet are straight, you're gonna Swim your feet, and I'm a little bit too close in. I need more movement in my legs, and we go. 18, 70. Good, nice and tight legs. Nice and tight and stiff. Squeeze your glutes. Six, five, four, two, and one. Good, and drop back. And let your back release for a second. We're gonna really just let all these stretches happen. I think I'm gonna take my glasses off now because the sun's going down and it's a little bit, they're falling off my face a little bit too. Good, just breathe, relax your neck. Let all this go. No tension in your neck. Whoo, breathe. Remember, stay calm, stay calm. Okay, so next off, we're gonna go back face down again. We're gonna do some crunches with the ball. So this time, and we're gonna use a lot of range of motion so this time I want you to think about, um, <clears throat> I want you to think about when you come up nice and long, how fluid everything is, and then you want to reach and stretch every time. So we're going to come up center, we're going to slide to one side, go back down center, and slide the ball to the other side across the opposite, across the foot. So we're here, long, we come up, we go across one and reach, and up, and across the other, and Reach nine, good. Eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, and rotate. Three, two, one more. Very good. Okay, so that helps to get the movement, stretch out your hamstrings, stretch out your back. Also, you're working your core at the same time. So this time we're gonna do, they're called passes with the ball. It's gonna go between your legs and then it's gonna go in your hands. So what does that look like? So we're here, we're gonna come up, Pass, drop, up, drop, up, down. So you're switching out every time the legs drop with the ball, the legs drop without. And even when they're dropping without the ball, you want to try to stay nice and wide. Up and down and up and down. If you need to make a change, you can make a change. You can always drop one leg at a time and hold the ball the whole time. Do scissors. I'll show you that in a second so you can see. Good. This is one. Good, so from here what you would do is you would be here, up, drop, up, drop, and that would be your scissor. That would be a variation for the other if that's too much. Okay, so now, heels together, ball is in front of your chest. We're gonna crunch up to between your, to your shoes with the ball. So we're up to your shoes. Nice and tall, readjust, and back down. Nine, good. Eight, not easy. Seven, good. 
six, five, four, three. Good, two more. One more. And uh, nice, okay. So the next exercise we're gonna do to put a couple things together. So we're gonna do those hip lifts again like we did earlier. We did the roll in and then the hip lift. We're gonna do just the hip lift this time. Um, just the hip lift. And then we're gonna do some reverse crunches with the ball between our legs. So how it's gonna look is you're gonna do a set of 10 of these, 10 to lift. Then we're gonna put the ball between your knees to hold and then 10 reverse crunches. We're gonna do three sets of those. So hang on, you're gonna put the bottom of your heel in the ball and we lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Put the ball between your knees. Engage. Crunch. Reverse crunch, that is. And we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Good. Another set. We're just gonna do two sets. I said three, but we're gonna do two. Are you ready? We go. Ten. If you want to do three, you can. Nine. Eight and lift. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Back between those legs. Reverse crunch. We go. 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Woo. That was a good number. Um, three sets will be great, but I wanna move on and make sure we get all of our things in. So you can always add an extra set to some of these things. You're like, oh, this really hits me where I need to hit. Maybe I should do another set of these, push pause, do another set, and then join back in or go back and do them again later, okay? It's your workout. Ooh, the sun is just a little bit too bright. I'm gonna, put the, I'm gonna have to put these back on. Um, it just catches me just in the right spot and it's not good. Okay, so now, we're gonna go back down, face up with that ball again. Uh, face down, I should say. Mm -hmm. So from here, we're gonna be we're gonna do hyperextension. So you're either gonna stay on your knees, the regular hyperextension, the other ones will reverse. So, or long. So you're here. You want your weight in the ball, knees down to. I'm gonna show you with knees down first because that might be where you want to start and then move move to more. So you can either keep your fingertips in the ball or your hands go next to your ears and you lift up. 10, nine, I'm gonna go with my straight legs because my knees are slipping on the, the towel. 10, nine, eight, seven, lower back, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then drape over. Feel the back. You want to feel the work that you've done, but you shouldn't feel that you shouldn't feel pain in your back when you're doing these. Just feel the work that you've done because it's important to strengthen your back. We just don't want to stress it. Good, excellent. That should feel really good. Okay, so now from here we're gonna do some more side stuff, some more side things. So from the side, we're gonna drop down into the hip again. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna do our our clamshells with this position. So when you're here, you wanna bend that knee, we wanna open and close for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, nice and strong, six, five, we're gonna add an extension, four, three, two, stop on one, extension, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, nice and strong. Four, like a roundhouse kick. Three, two, and one. Good, and drop that leg down. 
You'll reach over, stretch out your shoulder there where you were, where you had holding yourself up. Even on the ball is a little bit of extra work. Good. Same thing on the other side. So we go from here. We're going to do the clamshells again. So you've got the bent leg and we open. 10, 9, 8, 7. This is so good for your hips. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold 1. Extend. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, drop and stretch for a second. Feels really good. Nice, three, two, and one, good. All right, so whew, now we're gonna find our stretches nice and strong here. Okay, for our stretches, we're gonna incorporate the ball, but you don't have to use the ball. Remove it in the shade a little bit. You don't have to use the ball. So we're gonna take your right leg in front and your left leg beside. So it's almost like your legs are making the letter S. You're like a snake, your right leg is in front, your left leg is out to the side where you get a hip flexor. So you're gonna reach over. So you wanna suspend off of the ball. If you can, if you can't, just put this bottom arm on the ground and stretch over and that's perfectly fine. So you can feel a great stretch here. Not stress, but stretch here. And then over top, four, three, two, and one. And you should be a little shaky in those joints because that's not so easy, okay? So we're gonna come in, we're gonna take your right leg straight and your left leg bent. So your legs are actually making the letter L here with the right leg straight. We're gonna use the ball. The ball helps you to stay a little flatter and get a little bit lower and longer in your stretches. So if you would rather use the floor, use the floor. So from here, we're gonna go out, stretch out as far as you can suspending over that leg with a nice flat back. Feel a great stretch in your hamstring, behind your knee also. Of course, in your lats, all in your triceps. Lats, three, two, and one. Good, so now we're gonna take that right leg behind you. Keep the left leg in front, we're gonna go into a pigeon. So with your pigeon here, the leg goes back. Oh, I'm off the ledge. Okay, there we go, your leg goes back. And again, using the ball to get a little bit more. This pushes you up a little bit more, tight hip flexor. Here, we're gonna release into that leg and feel the stretches. We're really getting some good stretches in our arms too. We're gonna roll back up again into the, ooh, tight hip flexor stretch. Three, two, and one, relax your neck. Good, so same thing on the other leg, so that we've gotta make the letter L with the other leg. So the left leg is straight the right leg bends and we're gonna roll out in front of that ball, not in front of the ball, in between your legs. So the left leg is on the outside of the ball. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch. Nice flat back, move around. If you wanna put one arm on the ground, that's perfectly fine too. You don't wanna to feel too much stress in your shoulders, but you do wanna feel those joints, feel like they're opening up. Good, three, two, one. I forgot to do the pigeon on this side. We're gonna go back, and, uh, I forgot to do the mermaid stretch, so we'll do that last. Then we're gonna take that left leg back behind you. We'll do that after this one. Straight, because I just remembered. <laughs> Reach over, good, and suspend again. Feel the right hip. Roll in and you're nice and tall. Feel that hip flexor, whoo! Mine is tight. Remember, sitting for long periods of time, tighten your hip flexors. Um, walking a lot of stairs. Remember that space right at the, where your leg meets your body can get very tight and that affects your lower back actually. So just be, be caught, be, even though it's, you haven't been doing as much, it still can't, you can still have all the things you've got to take care of. So left leg in front, right leg is to the side. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see how, what that actually looks like from the side. So I'm gonna go over the left reach up and over. So this would be like when we were doing our mermaids with this stretch, but we're just doing this as a stretch. Good, and again, you're gonna feel some shaking. You're gonna feel a little in, unstable in some of your, in the joints sometimes, and that's okay. You wanna manage that. Just like with stretching, stretching, 
you want to get to a point where you're uncomfortable but not painful because you want to push beyond your comfort zone in stretching and fitness and in cardio and strength this is how we do it little bits at a time building building we're building flexibility building strength um, so all the different pieces should be able to add up to help you to help you become stronger from the inside out and that's what a lot of the things that I do incorporate so if you take pieces from here and pieces from there and you put them all together with the band and the ball and the weights and the cardio and uh, the, the mat work and the power core and it creates a lot of different um, a lot of different ways for you to become strong from the inside out and that's what's really important and thank you for being here today and I'm trying so hard trying to stay calm but I'm really excited because I get to see you real soon so I hope you have a great rest of the day thanks for making me part of yours and I will see you real soon